expense. I wanted to go a step further because I have certain clients that need a relay to offer not just forward control of their spindle, but also reverse. And that's where these two relays come in. One will cycle your uh, spindle on in a typical forward direction, whereas the second one will allow the option to the end user to cycle on their spindle in reverse. All fully integrated. If you think in terms and you understand the gravity of what you're looking at, there is nothing more simple than what you've seen just right here because this is an entire four-axis individual drive system all built in a modular design. And the whole idea of that is it streamlines your entire workload. A typical four-axis build, if you were to build an IDS system, once again, that terminology I'm talking about is individual drive system, you would have to wire each drive independently. After wiring each drive independently, which could be anywhere between 8 to 12 leads typically per drive on top of all of the AC wiring layout, guys, you have an abundance of work. Now, I know there are end users out there who still do not understand what I'm talking about when I say an IDS system. So I want to make this explicitly clear, and I'm going to break it down for you in this video. Check it out. Okay, so I want to be very concise and give you guys a visual example of exactly how powerful the SMCU system is. What you see here is from a past client. His name was Matt. He did a fantastic job building his control, and yes, he did build it correctly. However, this is an individual drive system featuring Gecko Raptor drives, and you can see it's a five-axis system. And how do we know it's five-axis? We have one drive, two, three, four, five. Now, the SMCU in its base format is a four-axis system. However, if you decided you want to go up to eight-axis, all you would have to do is use an LPH26 cable and plug it into the second port on your UC400, and now you would have an eight-axis system. But to cover in clear gravity of exactly what you were replacing, with an IDS system, also known as individual drive system. You see all of this wiring going to his breakout board, his controller, all of the filtering being done, all the splits being done, the ground bus, the terminal splitters, all of the GX16s. That is what you would be doing away with. 